My discussion uh, tonight is about federalism. The United States Constitution set up the federalism that I'm going to talk about, and that is the separation of powers in a vertical manner. So the, the national government or the federal government have certain powers and the state governments have other powers. So it's a vertical separation of powers. And the Constitution of the United States basically was telling the federal government or the national government the things it could do and the things that it was to have responsibilities to do. And this is in Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution, in which the powers of the federal government are listed in, in detail. So there, there's about 20 to 23 powers, depending on how you count them, right there in the Constitution. Also in, in Article 3, Section 3, is a little bit more of what the federal government is supposed to have a jurisdiction over. So the powers of the federal government are very limited and very well defined. The Founding Fathers set up this constitutional republic using the, the uh, Constitution of the United, by the Constitution of the United States. And Cleo Skousen taught me that in this book that they also needed an economic system. And so they turned to Adam Smith for the economic system that they wanted in this new country, this new uh, republic. And so the principles of, the, of Adam Smith were, were used to create the, what we call free enterprise <coughs> capitalism. And in this free enterprise capitalism, um, we have freedom to buy, try, sell, and fail. According to Clayton Scales, and that's how he summarized some of our freedoms. And whenever the government gets involved with the free enterprise capitalism, it messes it up. Whenever the government intervenes in prices or in, in wages or in <coughs> regulations, it seems to always mess up the free enterprise capitalism. So therefore, lots of people say, well, capitalism has a lot of problems. Well, the reason why is because the government's been intervening and interfering with the free enterprise capitalism. Also, Cleo Skousen taught in here that the, federal, that the government does have a proper role in interfering <coughs> with free enter enterprise capitalism. And the role is in four areas. The government must prevent, force, fraud, monopoly, and debauchery. These are four things the government must outlaw and punish in order to keep the free enterprise capitalism working as best as it can. Other than that, the government has no business interfering with the free enterprise capitalism. Well, that is kind of like a paradox. We just got through saying that the Constitution limits the government to 20 to 23 jurisdictions, or areas of jurisdiction, and yet the government is supposed to prevent fraud, force, monopoly and debauchery? Well, the answer is the federalism, how uh, the powers are separated vertically and um, with the federal government given certain powers and the states are, have the, all the rest of the powers. So therefore, the job of, of uh, outlying force, fraud, monopoly and debauchery falls to the states. The states have the responsibility to prevent those four items and to punish those and, 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 to, um, and to stop those four items. Okay, uh, I'd like to just read one of the quotes in here, if I can find it, from the Federalist Papers. Well, I can't find it, but it's, in summary it says, the, the national government's powers are limited and enumerated. The powers of the states are unlimited and infinite. And that's how I'd like to end my talk today. Thank you. Thank you.